Well, security is definitely on the minds of marathon organizers after the Boston Marathon bombing. Uh, they've asked for any first responders who will be there to identify themselves just in case. News Channel 8's Pat Doris is running the marathon and talked to organizers about this new initiative. Thousands gather every year from around the country to take part in the Portland Marathon. This year, every registered runner got this email asking them to sign up on the first responder team. The idea is to have hundreds of people in and around the race course ready and willing to respond in an emergency. It is a direct result of the Boston Marathon. Well, of course it is. I, I mean, I think a lot of things that have come up have grown out of the element of Boston, and this is just a natural follow through. Les Smith is the event director for Portland's Marathon. He said Boston changed the way organizers look at big events. People will see uh, individuals in security uh, shirts. Um, some of the Oregon National Guard will be here. And so I think we're, we're very ready for it. And we've worked very closely with the uh, police and with the city uh, in getting ready for this year's event. Yeah. Um... I definitely think, think it makes you feel safer. Kevin Fleischman is not running this year's race. He'll help others like Kelly Brett find the right shoes instead. She's gearing up for the San Francisco Marathon and likes that first responder idea. I think it's good to take precautions even if they're not needed. It's, you know, makes me sleep better at night knowing that they're there. Many runners are taking their last jog today before the Sunday Marathon. But running Sunday's race or not, the runners I talked with approve of the first responder plan. I think just knowing that they're prepared and taking all precaution and safety measures is a good thing. That was Pat Doris. We wish him uh, good luck on the run this morning. The marathon means detours for a lot of drivers and TriMet.